MetaQuest Pro, does new mean better? That investment may be paying off with the enterprise-focused MetaQuest Pro headset unveiled at this year's MetaConnect conference. The Quest Pro is an aesthetically pleasing and technically impressive feather in Meta's VR cap, which is in desperate need of some adornment. However, the Quest Pro operating system still needs a lot of work under the hood. It should be noted that the MetaQuest Pro is intended primarily for use in professional settings, and it features a combination of 10 internal and external cameras for enhanced eye and face tracking. Because the headset was not designed to provide the immersive gaming experiences that many people associate with VR, thrill seekers will be better served by its predecessor, the Quest 2. However, for creative professionals and businesses willing to pay the hefty $1,500 starting price, the MetaQuest Pro is a stunning device that delivers on all the promises of mixed and virtual reality. So let's learn about MetaQuest Pro and its review in this video. If you are curious to know more about tech gadgets, then subscribe to MetaHub. Here we begin. The Quest Pro and half a dozen black accessories, including a charging dock, removable magnetic gaskets, a protective headset cover, and a microfiber square, are included for the high entry price. But take your time to toss that box into the recycling bin that you missed the two teeny stylus tips nestled in the headset's wall charger and cords. The Quest Pro is sleek and solid right out of the box. Bound in glass and matte black plastic and padded with lush foam cushions that outperform the Quest 2's thrifty plastics, cheap foam, and flimsy elastic strap. We had some issues pairing the touch controllers, which each have a Snapdragon 662 processor and three sensors for 360 degree motion tracking to the headset during the initial setup process. Despite the fact that we both had controllers in our hands, the headset kept displaying one of them as being on the ground near our feet. By default, the Quest Pro provides users with 14 options, including a pink and purple ombre bubble room, a Japanese ryokan at dusk, and an underground cavern themed after the Lord of the Rings Rings of Power. The Look and Feel the MetaQuest Pro is a sleek, black headset with a glossy front panel that gives it a more serious and professional appearance than the bulbous White Quest 2. Like the optional Elite strap, the head strap replaces the standard 3-point harness with a single wraparound band with thickly padded sections on the back and front to cradle your head. The battery is housed in the back section, which includes a ring for tightening the headset. On the other hand, physical comfort ignores the eye strain that any VR headset can cause and the Quest Pro's battery life. The front panel of the headset includes three forward-facing cameras and two side-facing cameras, as well as two sets of contacts for charging the headset using the included cradle. The front of the headband, near the visor, has an additional power button and a 3.5mm headphone jack on the left side a volume rocker, and an additional headphone jack on the right. Surprisingly, the part of the headset that presses against your face is unpadded. The headset comes with a pair of shields to block some light from the sides, but it does not prevent light from leaking around your nose. Setting up the Quest Pro The setup process, which includes connecting to the Quest Pro using your Meta account, is simple. The headset employs the same Guardian system as the Quest 2, allowing you to draw boundaries around a safe and open area to designate it as your virtual reality space. In addition, the full-color pass-through camera provides a colored view of your VR environment, which is a welcome improvement. The only additional step in configuring the Quest Pro over the Quest 2 is to enable face and eye tracking. Face tracking is straightforward. If you enable it, the headset will monitor and mimic your facial expressions, including mouth movements while speaking. Calibration for eye tracking involves watching a ball move around in your field of vision. Hardware Optics According to Meta, the Quest Pro delivers 50% more performance than the Quest 2, thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Plus chip. 12GB of RAM, and 256GB of storage. The real challenge in designing this headset was combining the standalone design with something simple and comfortable to wear, and we believe Meta has achieved an almost perfect balance. 
the company reduced the headset's thickness while still delivering a relatively high resolution of 1800 by 1920 pixels per eye by switching to the new Pancake lenses. In comparison, that is slightly higher than the Valve Index, but slightly lower than the Vive Pro 2, which has 2448 by 2448 pixels per eye. The Quest Pro's visuals are slower than most of its high-end PC-based rivals, despite topping out at a 90Hz refresh rate. Thankfully, the 106-degree FOV is comparable to or better than all of its competitors, with the exception of the Vive Pro 2's 116 degrees. The Quest Pro also has 10 sensors on the outside and inside of the device. With the need for additional external sensors, the five outward-facing cameras support full-color pass-through, hand tracking, and scene understanding. Meanwhile, the five inward-facing sensors track eye and face movements for features such as foveated rendering and enhanced avatar animations. More on that later. General Performance and Apps Of course, the real magic happens when hardware meets software, and the Quest Pro offers some pretty impressive performance right out of the gate. The optics of the headset are sharp, with almost no evidence of the screen door effect. Furthermore, many tentpole features, such as Meta's scene understanding, are just kind of working, at least most of the time. The full-color pass-through of the Quest Pro is also quite impressive. Don't get us wrong, it still needs to be better than navigating meat space with your eyes, but it's accurate enough for us to walk from room to room to get a glass of water without having to remove the Quest Pro or bump into anything. The improved 3-window multitasking in the desktop mode of the Quest Pro makes it easier to switch between apps and stay connected while in VR, or at least it would be if 2D apps were more widely available. While important stuff like Slack is on the way, there needs to be more support for messaging software like WhatsApp for traditional 2D apps. Perhaps more telling is how few apps are currently available in the Quest Pro section of the store. Nanome, which allows you to view molecules in VR, is a really neat and interesting piece of software, but it's rather niche. This is to be expected, as developers will need some time to take advantage of the new Quest Pro features. This headset feels similar to a Nintendo Switch at launch, but without a tentpole game or app to pair with it, such as Breath of the Wild. Yes, you can still use all the old Quest apps because the Pro is fully backwards compatible with existing software, but when you spend $1500 on a VR headset, you want to be able to lose yourself in it for a month or more. What do you think of the MetaQuest Pro? Do you want to know if it's better than the Pico 4 or other VR headsets? If so, stay tuned with us for our next video, and until then, subscribe to MetaHub!